You're watching First Coast News on your side at 6.30. Posts on social media claim solar farms can cause tornadoes and thunderstorms, but is that the full truth? Meteorologist Robert Spetta verifies. This post is being shared on Facebook over 100,000 times, stating in all caps, solar farms will become thunderstorm and tornado incubators and magnets. The question, will solar farms cause more tornadoes and thunderstorms? Our sources for this are Dr. Chuck Kuchker from the University of Colorado, research into the post itself and general meteorological knowledge. The answer, we can verify that this claim is false. Solar farms can impact local weather on a small scale, creating localized urban heat island effects, but they will not produce full scale thunderstorms and tornadoes. Here's what we found. For starters, you need more than just local heat to produce thunderstorms. There is a variety of other factors to take into account. Even if you do account for the warmer air mass from solar farms, it's not nearly as much heat as some fossil fuel plants put out. As Dr. Kuchker notes, if a small amount of heat from a small solar farm was able to affect the weather, Think about what a conventional power plant would do. We don't see tornadoes and, and storms emanating from uh, conventional fossil fuel fired power plants, in spite of the fact that they're not only emitting an enormous amount of additional heat, but they're also evaporating all this water into the atmosphere, adding all this moisture to the air. I would expect that to have a much greater impact on the weather than the small amount of heat that we're talking about. And that is not even getting into the long-term effects of burning greenhouse gases. Reality is for thunderstorms and tornadoes, you need moisture, wind shear, instability, and a slew of other factors. Furthermore, the post itself is riddled with inaccuracies. For starters, the word tornado is spelled wrong. The post also claims that solar panels don't capture any visible spectrum of light, which is pretty much all they do. Then when discussing the claims of the poster themselves being a rocket scientist who worked on a space shuttle and a slew of other accolades, the list goes on and on, but are unable to be verified on LinkedIn or any publications related to solar energy under that name. I also found multiple other posts that are nearly identical in writing and have been copied and pasted and shared on Facebook over the past several years. So we can verify this post is false. Solar farms are not going to attract tornadoes. With your verify, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. First Coast News on your side. Now, the First Coast most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, certified by WeatherRate, sponsored by AC Design.